Greetings to our teaching practice, student teachers. I want to welcome you to this uh, important part of our teaching practice briefing session. Uh, early preparation before you embark on the real journey is very important. And that is why today I want you to take, to take note that understanding and knowing the people you're going to meet on the ground is very key. You will always know where to run very fast if, there, if you have an issue, you will know whom to talk to. And therefore that is why this video presentation is important for us. I am Dr. Feather Flora, the coordinator curriculum instruction and education management. This is a URTP coordinator. And therefore I want to uh, use this chance to take us through who is our zone coordinator, what are their roles, where are the centers where we are going to be taking our documents to? And in case I have any emergency, whom do I call if the zonal coordinator is missing? And that is what this video is going to be all about. So welcome, and uh, let me just share my screen. I will, as Ali said, we want to understand our teaching practice zones. For your information, we have uh, the 11 teaching practice zones. That is Nakuru East. I know you know where you belong by now. Therefore, we don't want to dwell so much on this. You can read the others just in case you want to reach out to your colleagues. Then for each of the zones, uh, of the 11 zones, we have the coordination centers. What are coordination centers? These are places I'm expecting that uh, just before your teaching practice, you will bring your timetables. This is where our files for your supervisors are going to be located. So now you can see that we even have their telephone numbers here and their email address. So this is our first coordinator for Kericho Bomet. This is uh, Mrs. Viola Kirui. The hard details are there. We have the next one that is Laikipia Nyandarwa. Here we have Mary Waiganjo, her details are there. Next, we have a coordinator for Eldoret Kapsabet Kitale. This is Chep Logoi. Again, we can see his details are there. Uh, next, we are seeing Dr. Mary Chule. This is Kisumu Kakamega Siaya. Her details are also here. You can see now we have a good mix of our coordinators, both, ma both male and female. So, uh, showing you that Rigeton really takes care of uh, your needs and gender is not an issue here. We have Dr. John Bett, that is Nakuru West. The details are also here. Next, we have Dr. Pauline Gidaiga. This is our coordinator for Nakuru East. Uh, we have Dr. Noah Kiveu, Kisi Nyamira Kilgoris. Next, we have uh, Dr. Aurora. No, uh, this is our um, Nairobi Machakos Kitui, it's very long, eh? Nairobi Machakos Kitui Makueni Kajiado Zone. Next, we have Mr. Koril is our coordinator um, for Nakuru Baringo Koibatek. Go, uh, sorry, Koibatek, okay? Then we have Mr. Kamai Kiambutika coordinator. And lastly, we have Makini Getuno. This is our coordinator for Kisi. Migori, Pama Bay. So you now have a clear picture of who is your coordinator. You have here their telephone numbers, you have their email addresses, and therefore we expect that you have no issues when it comes to sending documents or knowing how to easily reach the coordinator when you have any issues. Now, very first, I want us to understand what are the roles, some of the roles. Definitely I'll not uh, go through all of them. You have the coordinator. What should be the role of the coordinator? So definitely we know they have already posted you. And they're the ones who come up with the list plus your telephone numbers and make sure that these are given to the right offices. That is from the zonal coordinators they give to the uh, departmental coordinators. Then they make sure that their files are ready in the centers that we've just been discussing so that by the time you're going to those centers you'll get files already ready so your work is simply to punch the way they'll teach you how to punch your papers or your documents you will punch nicely your lesson plan then you will come 
the zonal coordinator will have already opened a file at the center. So your work is simply to file this document nicely and then you have uh, your way. So we are trying to make sure everything is so easy for you so that you also enjoy your teaching practice. Now, they are our peer person in the schools. So they will from time to time without even your notice, they don't have to call you. They can come in anytime, have a chat with your academic master, your senior master, the cooperating teacher. This is the person you are going to, when you go to the school, the head teacher will hand you to the person who's been teaching that subject. And that is what we are calling the cooperating teacher. So it's very important that you, have, you form a rapport and uh, you, these are the people who are going to mentor you in where now your lecturers are not there. We have now handed you over to this. So our zone coordinators can easily come in and have a discussion with these groups of people to just know if everything is proceeding on well. In case of any problems related to uh, TP, we are saying quickly inform our zonal coordinators. They are your, our link person between you and the offices here and between you and the, um, between the you and the administration in Egerton. So make sure that in case of any issues, very fast, you can do it to, uh, through write-up or you can make the calls, no problem. Now, apart from the zonal coordinators, let us just briefly understand who are our supervisors, what are their brief responsibilities, because you are going to meet them from time to time. Now, number one, I want to tell you these are your best friends. These are people you've been meeting every day in class, and these are just people who are coming to make sure, from theory to practice, they want to make sure they mold you nicely so that you are moving on well. So they are going to be there to advise you, student teachers, on activities pertaining to your schemes of work, lesson plans, the, the skills you're using in teaching in class. Um, there is the learning resource project. They will assist you from block one. They'll make sure they check the progress. For example, in block one, they'll discuss with you the topical area and make sure that for each block as they come in, this will be discussed further in another video. Make sure that you, you sit with them and discuss with them. We've always talked, talked with them and they know when they're in the school, you have all the time you have with the lecturer. So feel free and interact with them as your colleagues now. now uh before uh we forget make sure the log sheet for every block is signed so that we don't forget now they will also attend to other issues in classroom they'll simply look at how you are managing your time and definitely we also as lecturers know we are supposed to keep time so our supervisors know they should also keep time even you now you have to make sure you keep your time they'll make sure to uh, get relevant TP documents from you, student teachers. So make sure their file, which you're again going to be taken through by Mr. Mtonga, make sure the files are neatly done. And when the supervisors look at them, that first impression is very key. So supervisors are your mentors. They're going to be your coach and they're going to be your friends when they come. Do not look at them as enemies. Even when they come, and you feel something is not right, just tell me, Dr. Feather, please, something. Uh, my file is like this, but the reason is I was trying to fix this when you are just coming in. So do not panic, do not fear, do not run away from our supervisors. These are your friends. From the zonal coordinators to the supervisors, now comes in our roles as departmental coordinators. What is our role? You can see we've allowed you, we've, we've put you under our zonal coordinators. We have told you the role of the supervisors. Now, to oversee all this for our faculty, we have the de departmental coordinators, and we are two. Um, I am from the from CIM um, Tonga. Mr. Tonga is from the Department of Ajed. Now, our role is to make sure we coordinate teaching practice uh, posting. We just want to make sure you are posted in time. 
so that come opening days, you know where you're supposed to report. You're supposed to make sure that briefing is done. So when we when times for change uh, happened, for example, from face to face, we didn't have an issue. We knew there was online, so that was that is our role. We have to monitor the assessment and make sure things are moving on well. When all this is done, now comes the scores that your supervisors have been given, being have uh, been giving you from each block. So it is our role to get all these grades, prepare them in form of mark sheets, and finally do the submission of the mark sheet to the examination office. Now, why am I taking you through the role of um, a brief uh, summary of our role, the role of a, de a departmental coordinator? It's because at times I've seen students coming to us and saying we will, we want to be posted from this station to the other. And we are saying, no, that is a, you have your zonal coordinators. We only might come in when things are stuck, but always we, we make sure that uh, students are well taken care of. So important to also have a claims of your uh, departmental co uh, coordinators. So we have Dr. Feather here for curriculum instruction. Then we have Mr. Mtonga, Ajed, once more, you can see we've given you our mobile numbers, we've given you our email addresses. That tells you that we want you to feel free in case you have any major problems, which you think. Remember, don't bypass any protocol. By the time you reach us, it means some the zone coordinator has not sorted. Maybe the supervisor is not managing to sort the issue, then feel free to reach us so that we make sure your life is as comfortable as possible. Last but not least, once more, let us remember to sanitize. Let us remember to wear our masks and don't only have one, have a pair or more just to be on the safe side. So on this note, may I wish you a wonderful teaching practice come January and let's not forget to pray to God because we know COVID has not been very good to the society, but we pray for the best. God bless you.